You are watching Coin Collecting Fun. You are so awesome. Coin Collecting Fun, where it is all about you. You and more. You. Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. It's not about me. It's not about my. It's not about mine. It's about you. And that is why this video is designed especially for you. Hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and is greatly appreciated. And after this video is over, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. That video currently has over 2,100 likes, over 5,100 comments, and over 63,000 views. Let's get that video to over 5,000 likes, over 10,000 comments, and over 100,000 views. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. So if you wanted to check out that video and drop a few comments on there, it'd be greatly appreciated. Or if you wanted to drop a few billion comments on that video, I will certainly not stand in your way. The more, the merrier. And there are no limits to the number of comments that you could leave on that video, on this video, or any coin collecting fun video for that matter. So leave as many comments as you'd like on that video and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe as well so here's an amazing 2004 p roosevelt dime clad composition coin one billion three hundred and twenty eight million were produced the metal composition is 91.67 percent copper and 8.33 percent nickel the diameter is 17.9 millimeters and this coin's weight is 2.27 grams. The face value is 10 cents. The numismatic value is also 10 cents for one found in average circulated condition, but can be worth as much as $2 for one found in certified mint state, and can be worth as much as $2.22 for one found in brilliant uncirculated mint state 65 condition, and that is at the time of this video production. Also, at the time of this video production, the current melt value is $0.0238, or you could simply say 2.38 cents. So, under 2.5 cents in metal value for a coin with a face value of 10 cents. What that means is not only is it illegal to melt this coin down, it would be illogical to melt this coin down, as the metal contained therein is far below the face value of this coin. So we are currently enjoying a look at the front of the coin, or you can call this the obverse of the coin, or simply heads, where we see Liberty, we see Roosevelt, and God we trust, the mint mark P representing the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania mint, and the mintage year of 2004, that is when this coin was struck. Also, the initials JS, that stands for John Sinak, the designer and engraver of this coin. It's really small, but a lot of people don't actually notice that there, but it is there. So let's go ahead and flip this coin over and take a look at the back of the coin, or you can call this the reverse of the coin, or simply tails, where we see United States of America, e pluribus unum, one dime. This coin will never drop below the value of one dime. So what an absolutely beautiful coin this is, both front and back, both obverse and reverse, both heads and tails. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines.